You guys are probably wondering where the leg day video is from Sunday. Well, about that. So Saturday night, I'll try to make this pretty quick, but Saturday night, around like two or three in the morning, I woke up, my stomach was killing me. And I thought, you know, maybe I just ate something bad or whatever. And like 30 minutes later, I mean, I'm talking projectile vomiting, like a fucking fire hydrant. You know what I'm saying? If any of you guys seen a scary movie, is it two? Where they're making fun of the exorcist at the beginning and they're fucking the vomiting scene. It's literally shooting out like a fire hose. That's what it was like, man. So yeah, basically I got really sick and I threw up probably six times in the span of like six or seven hours. It was every hour. It just kept coming up. <laughs> My dumb ass. I was honestly still thinking, I was like, well, maybe if I feel better by it, Later in the evening, Sunday, I could still go in and, and do some legs. No, man, that would have been completely and utterly ridiculous to even try. But me, I'm so, I'm so in it and dedicated. I was, I was kind of foolishly hoping, but yeah, that, that shit wasn't going to happen. So yeah, I actually had to miss yesterday, yesterday's leg, uh, leg session. And that's the first time I've actually missed a workout that I was supposed to obviously work out. And probably, I mean, you're talking years and years and years. And I've been sick before and been able to push through. But there was something about Sunday, dude. Well, it was really Saturday. Well, I guess it's Sunday morning, 3 a.m. Yeah, there was something about that, man. I just, I felt like even my skin, like to the touch, was sensitive and irritated and just, I felt horrible, man. So, and on top of that, because I was throwing up. I didn't have any appetite. Later, toward the end of the day, I started to feel a little better. So I ate some crackers and some chicken noodle soup. So I had maybe 500 calories all day yesterday. So you factor that in. So today's workout is going to be, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be something. So obviously, I'm going to try dumbbells. I was considering using the, the bench press machine over there to try to take all the stability factor out of it and everything. But no, nah, I'm just going to. I'm gonna stick with dumbbells, man. But yeah, it was. I, just, I don't know. Let me let me do this one set real quick. Oof. So yeah, I really don't like the fact that I had to miss Sunday's, yesterday's leg workout. It's, I'm not gonna lie, it's eating up at me. Or like, ever since I kind of made that constant decision, they're like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do legs, Sunday. It's been eating at me ever since. The only thing that's kind of making me feel better about it is the fact that luckily leg day is one of the days that I hit twice in a week. So, you know, although I missed it, I missed it yesterday. I'm going to hit legs Wednesday. So I have a chance to make up for it. So what I'm thinking is Wednesday. I mean, normally on each leg day, I won't go over. I'd say very rarely do I ever go over 12 total working sets of legs each day. So it usually keeps me around anywhere from 20 to 24 sets total for the week altogether for legs. So yeah, on Wednesdays, I'll maybe do 12 sets at the most. Very rarely will I do more than that. So, so I think this Wednesday, since I missed yesterday, I think I might throw in an extra exercise for another three or four sets bring me up to like 15, 16, 
maybe even 17 total sets for legs Wednesday. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a fucking workout Wednesday. I know that, but it's one of those things where it's like I missed yesterday's. So now I'm, I mean, I'm fucking ready now. I'm ready to hit legs, which I don't always say, but yeah, the fact that I missed yesterday, I'm fucking ready for it now. I think I'm gonna throw the let me throw the 125s. Yeah, I'll throw the 125s up here and we'll do one more one more set with those. And I'll probably go straight to the 150s. I'll work with the I think I'm gonna work with the 150s again today. I was considering going up to the 160s after last week, but you know, you gotta factor everything in that I've went through the past twenty four to forty eight hours. Uh I think going up to the one sixties would be jumping the gun a little bit, so at least for this week, I'll stick with the one fifties again and see how it goes. Probably just two sets. I'm gonna, I'm stick, I'm gonna stick with what I've been doing. Two heavier sets with the one fifties, and then I'll go down for two to three more sets, uh, dropping weight with each one of those sets, and uh, yeah, go from there. Oh yeah. That feels pretty fucking good. Let me get the 150s up here. You don't feel like carrying the fucking dumbbells. You just gotta roll that shit over there. All right, so the goal here is to not fucking die. That's the goal. No, <laughs> really though. I'm honestly, I'm just shooting for two good sets of eight again, and if I can get that, again, considering after what I've went through the past 24 hours, I'll be happy at this point. Uh, it'd be kind of silly to hope for a PR, although I'll take it if it happens. I will definitely take it. But yeah, uh, I think. I shouldn't be hoping for that today. Just try to really, it's kind of a recovering day. So I say recovering. I got the one fucking fifties up here, but it's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of speaking out of both sides of my mouth really, but, but yeah, the goal is to just get good sets here. Don't push it too hard. Unless I'm just feeling that fucking good. But again, I don't see that happening. Could be wrong though. I've been wrong before. So let's just fucking get into it. Oh. <sighs> 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 Not bad, not bad at all. In reality, so I was trying to control the reps pretty good, which, I mean, you always should, but even a little more so today than usual because of just overall fatigue from being sick yesterday and not having many calories in me, not having many at all. So really trying to be safe, control, and like I said, just get good sets and just get a good workout. That's the main goal here. But yeah, considering all that, that actually felt pretty good. It wasn't, it was pretty easy, really. Well, I won't say easy, but you guys know what I mean. It was a, maybe a little easier than expected. I should say it like that. So yeah, do one more set this weight and then probably go down to 130s, I think. Mm. 
I'll be honest, like, the, through the first four reps there, there was a thought in the back of my head. I was like, damn, could I maybe get nine here? And then that thought quickly vanished because uh, by the sixth and seventh rep, I was like, yeah, no, nine's not happening. <laughs> Shit. Well, I did what I was hoping for. So two sets of eight. Let's go down to the, go down to 130s. Probably stick with that for two sets. I know I said... I would drop weight with each set, but I think I'll do the 130s for two additional sets also, and then go down with just one more time for only one set, maybe the, well, I don't know. I'll kind of see at that point. I don't, I don't quite know yet, but, but yeah. <sighs> This might be a stupid fucking decision, but I'm only resting like a couple minutes. I'm going to go right into it, though, because, I mean, I lowered. It's a total of 40 pounds with 20 pounds less in each arm. So, I don't know. I just feel like when I lower the weight like that, I don't like to rest as long because you're already lowering the weight, which is already making it easier. So, I don't know. It's just kind of a personal preference thing. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go right into it. I really wanted one more rep. It would help if I actually counted my fucking reps. God damn it. <laughs> every day, or at least every week, I, I bring it up several times saying I need to track, you know, keep tracking my reps better. And then every time it's the same fucking thing. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, overall, I felt it pretty good. So we'll do one more at this weight and then go down one more time. Well, Guys, I officially decided that I probably, well, I already ordered it, so, but I am going to start using Bucked Up. The thing is, though, I'm trying to change my shirt at the same time I was talking here. The problem is, it's not, it hasn't come in, and it probably won't be in until maybe toward the end of the week. So, I might have a whole other week here of no fucking free workout. Definitely kind of sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely prefer to have pre-workout at the moment. Thing is, though, that's why, I, you know, I think it's important not to become too reliant on certain things. And pre-workout being one of them. Uh, because it's, it almost becomes the it almost becomes like you, you feel like you need that th certain thing. And if you don't get it, then you can't even you can't even perform or do what you're going to do. You know what I mean? Now, I've even been guilty of this, like, it was just last week. I feel like the first couple of days, if I didn't have my pre-workout, then the workout was automatically going to be shit, when in reality, that's kind of all in your head, you know what I mean? You can make a workout as good or as bad as you want it to. Now, obviously, your diet, like, if you're, if, you're, if you're deprived of carbs and water and stuff, then yeah, that does play a factor, obviously, but you guys know what I'm saying, like, some people become too reliant on those things. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't like that. So, although I would definitely prefer to have pre-workout right now, especially after the day I had yesterday and Saturday night, you know, it kind of kind of teaches you to, to get the energy and the focus and everything from other sources internally rather than externally. You know what I mean? 
So let's do this next set. I hate doing that. Every time I go to fucking line that shit up, set the dumbbells on there. I've had several close calls of, actually one time it did, smash my fucking wrist against that part right there. It's, uh, that's not fun, let me tell you. All right, I think I'll go down to probably, I want this last set generally to just be a good higher rep burnout set. Get a ton of blood in the chest. So I was gonna go down to the 120s, I think I'm gonna go down to the 110s. Yeah, go all the way down to the 110s and just pump out a shit ton of reps. All right, I had a little change, change of heart again. Instead of doing the 120s or the 110s, because I was on the fence of which one I wanted to do, I just split it right down the middle and was like, you know what? The 115s are right there. I'll just fucking do those. So we'll do the 115s here. Ah. <sighs> 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 Wow, that last rip was close. And when I say close, I mean it's almost not getting it. <laughs> My chest, like everything just started burning really bad in a good way. But yeah, let's call that for dumbbell bench press. I think I'll do flat dumbbell flies next. I want to switch up a few things. You know what, I'm not even going to say anything because I always change my fucking mind anyway. So, but yeah, we'll do dumbbell flies next and kind of see. Guys, I feel fucking flat today. Fuck. It's with an L, not fat, but flat. I don't know, I'm just, I'm sure all of you had days like that out there too, but just looking in the mirror and I just feel like I'm not popping as much as I'd like to. And that could be a byproduct of me throwing all my, throwing my fucking guts up literally like a day ago. So all my calories and everything just went straight out, straight out of me. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like it though. I don't like it when I look like this. Well, at any rate, got the 90s like always. Do a set. Go from there. And what else do I need to say here? <laughs> Ah. Ooh. Ooh. I felt good. I do think I jumped into that set a little too fast. Holy shit. Good set though. I think I'll stick with this weight and I think two more sets should be fine.
I wasn't gonna let that rep win. No fucking way. It almost did. Fuck. Alright, one more. Alright, for anybody who doesn't do dumbbell flies a lot, I would highly, highly recommend at least giving them a shot because I was one of those people in that camp that was like, you know, I get enough free weight work with my barbell bench press and and squat and everything else. So I tried to keep all the accessory isolation movements to strictly machines or cables, which is necessarily not the wrong mindset to have. But I do think dumbbell flies, chest flies, at least for me, hit a little better on my chest than say a, a cable, a standing cable fly or a pec deck. Now, this is me just kind of spitting out my fucking bro science here. But I think it has something to do with the fact that I'm actually laying down and the dumbbells are actually going up and down against gravity. Whenever you're doing a, a standing cable fly, you're standing and you're coming out like this while gravity's pulling this way. So it's not, I mean, that could just be fucking bullshit bro science. I can admit that. <laughs> but I feel like that does have something to do with it. And also it's more natural and just easier to get that stretch with the dumbbell flies because again gravity's pulling the dumbbell literally down and you don't have to do much to get that stretch you just have to let gravity do its fucking magic and pull down 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 until you hit that certain spot and then flex the weight back up you know what i mean with the uh, cable flies you kind of have to force it a little more if that makes sense but yeah if, for the people out there stuck on the cable flies or pec deck no nah, man i would like i said at least give dumbbells a shot and and when I say give it a shot, I don't mean just try it one week. And then if you don't like it, move on. To give something an actual true shot, you need to do it for several weeks. And kind of see if you notice a difference or if you feel like you're getting a better workout. And then, and then at that point, if you feel like you're not, go back to cables, you know. But I'm sticking with dumbbell, dumbbell chest flies for, for a while at least because they're working great for me. Let's get this last set in. Ah. <sighs> 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 <laughs> that was a good set. Well, I was going to do something else other than incline dumbbell flies, but I'll be honest, after being sick yesterday, I just don't, I don't know, I just feel like doing incline dumbbell flies and just calling it there, not, not overcomplicating things today, so yeah, I'm going to do three sets here, I got the 80s, <clears throat> honestly, I don't think it'll be too heavy, I mean by the third set, yeah, it'll probably start to get heavy, but that's the whole fucking point, right, if it's not getting pretty tough by your second or third set, you're probably not going heavy enough or hard enough, but 
yeah, do three sets here and then now for, for lower chest, I do maybe want to do something different, but it just depends. I don't know, man. We'll see how I fucking feel when I get to that point. Like I said, just after being sick yesterday, I'm just kind of like, I just want to stick to it, to my routine that I've been doing and, uh, just get good hard sets in and then call it a day. I don't want to fucking overcomplicate shit today. <laughs> That was about as close as you can get to not getting a rep, but still getting it. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Let's do two more. Oh, yeah, that was tough. Fuck, that was tough. All right, let's. I'll say I still don't know what I want to do for lower chest, but I want to do something different. I know that. Let me try to figure it out. So I'm actually gonna do some decline dumbbell flies today. Now, it's a decline, yes, but well, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not that much of a decline I mean you can see flat is about right there so it's not much of a decline but it's still a decline enough to hit a little bit different portion a little bit you know a different part of the chest yeah I'll do now this can be a little more cause a little more strain on your shoulders so I would recommend if you don't do these a lot start off pretty light and then over time if you feel like you're getting stronger yeah work the weight up so I'm, I haven't done these in a long time. So, you know, I did the flats with the 90s. Well, normally on a decline, you're a little bit stronger. But like I said, I haven't done these in a while. So I'm actually just going to do the 70s. And, you know, if it's pretty easy, pretty light, I'll slow the reps down as much as I need to to uh, keep me around 15 reps, hopefully. Also, it's nice if, I don't know if you guys have seen the video, but there's the pegs here. It's nice to have be able to brace your legs to get something. So that you don't slide down the bench because if you don't and your legs are kind of just floating you're going to slide down the bench with each rep so mm. 
In hindsight, that's probably the perfect weight that I could have picked. Because again, like I said, just being in that position where you're declined more, it's a lot more strenuous on your on your delts and just overall keeping your form, you know. You want to round almost to try to make it more comfortable, which is not good. So, yeah, I would recommend a lighter weight doing this stuff. Other than that, I mean, it felt good, so we'll do two more. Last fucking set, man. We got to make this one. We got to make this one a fucking good one. Now, you guys remember when I said it helps when you have these pegs to kind of push your legs against so you don't slide down? I failed to follow my own advice because on that last set, I was sliding down with each rep. <laughs> you guys can probably notice if you go back and watch. My head was basically hanging off the pad by the last one, but we still got the set done, so that's all that matters. But, yeah. Last one here, and then probably go do a set of max rep push-ups, and uh, that'll be it, man. That's good. That was basically failure. If I would have tried one more, I wouldn't have got it. No fucking chance. All right. Put all these dumbbells back, and I will do a set of max rep push-ups. And uh, we'll call it. I was coming into this workout really not knowing what to expect. But if anything, I was expecting to kind of have a down, shitty day. But I mean, it's kind of, you know, common sense when you're after a day where you you eat maybe 500 calories total the whole day. And on top of that, 
you're throwing up all the calories that you had the day before it's uh it's kind of a recipe for disaster you know not to have your best day but considering all that it actually wasn't too bad like the dumbbell flies toward the end specifically with um the incline ones those were starting to get pretty tough with the 80s i mean it was starting to get pretty tough but other than that like the flat dumbbell bench press that actually went pretty good i was expecting that to feel rough and it didn't at all really and then everything else was pretty fucking good so i can't really complain too much it was a uh pretty good pretty good workout man i'm not gonna complain at all but again i will say i'm just feeling flat today man i hate it i feel like i'm not I don't know, I just feel like I'm not popping like I usually am. You know what? Best way to figure that shit out is let me just take the shirt off and then we'll see. But yeah, just kind of, I don't know. Let me just take the shirt off, we'll see. I don't know, maybe I am. Now that my shirt's off, actually. I sit, my abs are looking pretty good specifically. Oh, but my chest. Let's try that again. I mean, it could be worse, I guess. It's, it's getting warmer outside, man. I can tell because it stays a little warmer in here. And I started breaking a sweat just doing the pose down just now. But I will say I'm going to have to start um, carrying the duration of my poses. I'm not carrying, but making them longer. Because posing for a bodybuilding show, especially... While you're on a cut is a whole nother ball game man like what i did just now was like nothing compared to what it's going to be when i'm on a cut dry dehydrated you know from water and then i got to pose for a lot longer than that so 
I'm about to slowly just start, you know, making it longer. Like I didn't even realize I didn't even hit a side chest. God damn it. Well, whatever. But anyways, yeah. Another thing I I forgot my fucking supplements at home. All my pills, my multivitamin and my creatine. So I normally don't drink my protein shake until I get that stuff with it, so yeah, we're gonna call it there. I'm gonna hurry up and get home and get all that shit in me. Tomorrow's back and biceps, so that'll be a doozy. <laughs>